after a teammate tossed a no-no or perfecto, and they have been slightly more human. A combined 6-6 six and six record with a 3.80 ERA, averaging six innings and five and a half hits per outing, and the best of the lot was turned in by Hideo Nomo the day after Ramon Martinez no-hit the Marlins in 95. Nomo twirled a complete game three-hitter with 10 Ks for the Dodgers against whom Myers pitched on his day after Monday, and there's Millwood day after himself. Now, before the game, Dan Fleesack having a little fun figuring, hey, if it's it's got to be the jersey, clearly. And Millwood, of course, is amused by the hijinks. Smiles, everyone. Smiles. Darren Dreifert on the hill for the Dodgers, and in the first inning, a comebacker from Pat Girl. Yikes. And away, and that plates Jimmy Rollins. one nothing. fills Darren Dreifert giving the international symbol of my bad. Bottom three, bases full of Dodgers. Myers in, an, in, a, in a jam. Joe Kerrigan comes out, says settle down, and he does. Paul LaDuca wraps into the inning ending, 4-6-3, double play. Top four, Jim Tomey steps to the plate against Dryford, and Tomey got it. Fourth homer of the season, 2 nothing fills. Bottom of the fourth, Myers in cruise control. Adrian Beltre, swing it. Bottom of the sixth, runner on second, Sean Green trying to plate LA's first run with a clutch two out hit. A blooper, fist job that David Bell runs down. Myers out of trouble, seven and two thirds, no earned runs. Bottom eight, runners on first and second. Who comes out of the pen? It's Plesak wearing his own uniform. And he gets Sean Green to ground out to get out of the jam. Jose Mesa, Joe Table, the sixth save of the ninth. Myers gets the win, 3 nothing. Play 38 innings of baseball in a tight 11 and a half hours. Can't we give these guys a break? Only four teams play in Monday. D-backs and Marlins are two of them. Opening a four-game set at Bob. Florida traveled 1,981 miles to Phoenix, while Arizona went 2,145 miles to get back home for Monday's game. Bottom one, that's Justin Wayne, just called up from AAA. Facing junior Spivey, who came in hitting 182. A two-run shot for Spivey is first. He was three for five. It's 2 nothing D-backs. Bottom four, Rod Barajas. Doubles to left center. They're going to wave Matt Williams. 3 nothing Arizona. This off Wayne, who allowed four runs on seven hits and five and a third. Top seven, two on, two out. Juan Pierre facing Elmer Descends. Steve Finley's out there. Descends solid Monday, seven innings. Gave up just one run on five hits, struck out five. Seven won your final. D-backs win three straight for the first time. The same way you're either a Ginger or Marianne guy over here, you could be either a Ichiro or Hideki Matsui fan in Japan. Just like Ginger and Marianne, those guys were on the same island, but except for exhibitions and all-star games and the 98 Japan series, they never played against each other. They were in different leagues. So Seattle's visit to Yankee Stadium Tuesday was a big deal to the Japanese. In fact, they sent their Joe DiMaggio, Shigeo Nagashima, over as a guest commentator so the folks back home could finally see Ginger and Marianne square off. A circus atmosphere Tuesday, even by Bronx standards. Roger Clemens starting for the Yankees. 17 years to the day after that 20 strikeout performance against the Seattle Mariners in 1986. And look at this stat. Every Mariner player from that game now retired. Coincidentally, it's the Mariners facing Clemens Tuesday night at Yankee Stadium. And the first batter in that game is, guess who, Ichiro. Drama early for the Japanese fans. He K's. Next, Clemens rings up Randy Wynn. Next batter, Brett Boone. And this doesn't go as well. Matsui's out there, but he's not going to get that. 1-0 Seattle. Boone, sixth of the year. It was 3-0 M's in the sixth. Edgar Martinez. Edgar's third, 4-0 Seattle. The Rocket gave up three home runs in the game. Clemens, much worse results 17 years later versus the Mariners. No 20-strikeout game here. He did K-8, but he gave up four earned on eight hits and six. Now to the Ichiro versus Godzilla matchup. Here are their major league numbers. Ichiro, better overall, but what matters is winning, and the team records an even 20-5 and five after the 25-game comparison. Hideki Matsui arrived at Yankee Stadium earlier on Tuesday, and as we'll see the arrival, lots of Japanese media, 125 Japanese media credentials issued for the game. They were having some laughs. These guys don't really know each other all that well, but they meet, and there's the photo off. Bottom two, Gilmesh gets Matsui to fly out. Godzilla one for four Tuesday. Bottom three, Raul Mondesi. 
left to right. Oh, Ichiro, what a complete player this guy is in foul territory. Mesh, seven and two thirds scoreless innings. He gave up only six hits. Top seven, Ichiro. A perfect bunt with a man on second. Chris Hammonds fields it. Ichiro beats it out. He was one for five. And the one two batters later on the corners. Boone down the left field line. Ben Davis scores. They will wave each it all around. Nick Johnson, though, got a shot to get Boone. Oh, Boone tries to stretch this into three. Yeah, that's in a short left, but Eric Almonte is there backing up, and they get the throw to Posada in plenty of time to get Boone. And the Mariners win the game 6 0. You know, improved to four and two. Tony Graffanino couldn't care less. Over the wall that goes. Graffanino's third of the year. It's one nothing Chicago. He's hitting 294. It was two nothing Sox. Top of the fifth, Bartolo Colon on the mound for the White Sox facing Chris Singleton. Singleton loves the heat. And this goes over the head of Aaron Rowan. Singleton will reach with a triple. He was two for four with two RBI. Colon allowed six hits in eight innings. Top of the seventh. High game of two, more Singleton. Burns would score. A's would win by the score of three to two. Oakland has managed to win their fifth straight, defeating the White Sox in Chicago. Throw 17 and 5 Royals opening three games set at Fenway Park. Top three. Carlos Beltran off Tim Wakefield. Dirt dog trot Nixon. That's a deep right field, and Beltran can run all day long. He is going to try and stretch this for an inside the park home run. Here's the relay from Walker, and he is in there. Second home run this season, a second career inside the park home run. Here it is. Bounces way in front of Nixon, who's playing deep. 2-2 two, two in the sixth. It's Bill Miller for Boston. First inside the park home run for the Royals since Beltran's last one last August. Miller, a big two-out hit. Nomar Garcia Paris scores. Nomar was three for four. Three-two Red Sox. Time for the bullpen by committee. We start with Mike Timlin in the seventh. Carlos Fables. Look at Timlin off the mound. Bare hands it and gets Fables at first. Next batter, Michael Tucker. Bill Miller. The diving stop, and Timlin gets out of the inning in the eighth. It would be Alan Embry just off the DL after shoulder tendonitis, and Embry brings up Ken Harvey to end the inning. The committee allowed one hit in three scoreless innings, and the Red Sox win 7-2. It can happen. He could have told us he wasn't losing any sleep over his return to Pac Bell Park for the first time as manager of the Cubs, but that would have been a flat-out lie. Baker said the thought of his return not only woke him up one night, he got upset because it did. The three-time NL Manager of the Year has the Cubs in first place in the Central. Baker's family in the stands as he faced a Giants team he got into the World Series just last October. Hello. Before the game, Kerry Wood warms up with a towel instead of a ball. Bottom three tied to one. Uh-oh. Wood hitting Barry Bonds with a pitch. Bonds heads to first. What did Bonds say about being intentionally walked by Baker? Oh, I'll just throw the bat in the dugout. I'm going to bust him right in the eyeball. Because he doesn't intentionally walk hardly anybody. And if he intentionally walks me, I'm throwing the bat at him. Because there's so many times we're like, walk him, walk him, and he won't do it. He better walk me. He better not walk me either. Well, he's in that other dugout now, Barry. So Bonds walked to load the bases with two out, bottom four. Oh, Wood walking Cruz with the bags full. A run scores from third. It's 2 1 Giants. But the Cubs were up three to two, and this happens. Kerry Wood hitting Bonds again. Babe. Top of the eight, three two Cubs, Moises Alou. Oh, some insurance. It's gone. It makes it four two Chicago. Cub fans expecting a lot out of Alou this year. His daddy watches. Bottom eight, one out, bonds up again. This is deep, but not deep enough. It stays in Pac Bell, and the Cubs have a victory. Four to two. So Dusty in his return, keeping the Cubs. Hollinsworth, lift off. Two-run shot. Hollinsworth's got two now on the season. And the Marlins got a two-love lead. Same score, two on Alex Gonzalez. That's a three-run Jimmy Jack. His sixth of the season is 5 nothing. He's, he's stronger, he's more focused. One of the players of the month. Had a great month for the Marlins. Certainly did. Now 5-zip. Stephen Randolph 
Mike Lowell doing the damage. Lowell seventh, seven nothing. I love Mike Lowell. I don't know why he's in trade talks I, almost continually when you talk about the Marlins. His Funny. numbers are too good and they're afraid he's going to have too much of a number on his contract. Seven three with the bases loaded. Armando Almanza gets Steve Finley to fly harmlessly into right center. Finley's unhappy. Seven five. Lyle Overbay. Be a hero in the ninth. No. Caught in the left. I always thought part of that was a compliment to be mentioned in trade talks. It means other teams are obviously interested in Also, remember the name Miguel Cabrera, 19 years old, playing in double-A, rated one of the five best prospects in the game, Marlins. Royals won't. Opening of a three-game set. Top first two on, Gary Sheffield. To left, Raphael for a call comes in. They wave Marcus Giles, and it's 2-0 Atlanta just like that. Oswald went seven, allowed three runs on six hits, struck out seven. Bottom four, Jeff Bagwell. It's jammed by Maddox, who allowed one run on five hits in seven. Let's use our K zone in the seventh for Lance Berkman. The jewel. Appears to be a strike. He takes, and yes, that's a strike. Berkman, maybe not too happy, steps out of the box. Good use Next, of the K zone. I think, well, hold on. If you like that, how about this? Ooh. I'm good. Berkman takes again. Looks like a strike. Call two. Jimmy Williams with one M. Not happy. One and two. Yeah, looks a little inside, but no. Strike three. And Berkman going at it with Terry Kraft, and Terry Kraft has just about had enough. In fact, Berkman blows a gasket here, has to be restrained by Gene Lamont and Jimmy Williams with one M before going out to the clubhouse. They go to the bottom nine, three one Braves, two on two run. John Smoltz gets Brand Alex Braves win three one. Smoltz's tenth save. He has converted his last 26 save opportunities. Can it get any worse for the Mets? Don't answer that. In St. Louis, Matt Morris striking out Mo Vaughn. Vaughn would leave after the first with a stomach virus. That's I know a what big you're virus. thinking. It is, and I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Al Leiter on the mound, Edgar Renteria, and Met fans weren't thinking kind thoughts to Cliff Floyd at that moment. Scott Rowland would score. Floyd did not get an error. Remember I said could it get any worse for the Mets? Remember I asked that for a reason. I tried to warn you about Cliff Four Floyd. You wouldn't cards. listen. Yeah, I did. You're right. Morris, Tony Clark, uh, 10 errors in the last three games for the Mets. Remember they had eight on Sunday in that doubleheader disaster. Mets down 4 nothing. Thing still Floyd that's deep but have you forgotten that Jim Edmonds is there see that he never takes a day off Jim Edmonds the Mets losers 13 to 3 she said it Phillies in LA looking for their fourth straight win Kevin Brown had 11 strikeouts his last outing against the Reds and picks up where he left off here against the Phils it's Pat Burrell Jim Tomey and Mike Lieberthal Brown went seven innings, allowed one run on five hits, seven Kings. Bottom four, Holbert Cabrera. They say it's foul, and they, oh, no, it's fair. Two men on with a one out. You know, Larry Boa noticed that, but he's not getting the call reversed. Next batter, Cesar is tourist, bouncing ball by Thomas Perez, and they're loaded up for the pitcher spot. Kevin Brown, you know, he can't pinch hit for him. It's only the fourth inning. He's pitching well. But he does a good job here. Deep enough. Adrian Beltre comes in. Dodgers up 2 nothing, And, you know, you got to think back to that fair foul call, Larry Boa, right? Top six. Ricky Lede. Deep left center. Mike Kincaid is, oh, look at that. Full extension. And he sticks the landing. Dodgers get the win over the Phils, 6-2. It worked. The tickets sold at the rate of 2,000 an hour. 48,097 showed up for what Jays president Paul Gottfried called an opportunity to say, look, we're all right. 69 cents, a real bargain, considering the average Blue Jays ticket goes for 14 American dollars. Top three, they are uh, not a bargain, but very effective. 19th career Sky Dome home run, the most by any visiting player. It's 5 nothing Royals, Carl Everett. This in the fourth. He's got eight homers in his last 13 games. He had two Tuesday, nine on the year. It's 7-0 Texas, one gone. This in the sixth. He also had two home runs in the game. He's got eight on the year. It's 12-4 Rangers. And thanks for showing up, but hold on. Here come the Blow Jays. In a 13-10 game, Eric Hinsky goes down the right field line, 13-11 now. Remember, the Jays came from seven down to beat Kansas City on Sunday. Oh, that guy got his money's worth. Two outs. Go ahead, run at the plate. Francisco Cordero 
gets Greg Myers. And the Rangers hold on 16 to 11. They have won nine in a row against the Blue Jays. Angels looking to send the Indians to their seven straight loss. Angels are 11 and 14. They bring it into Cleveland as they begin a three game set as we flash back to May 1st, 2002. The Angels went there with a 10 and 14 record, swept it, and you know, the rest is history. They won a World Series. Back to Tuesday, top of the third, would Cleveland have the same effect on the Angels, a winning effect? Tim Salmon extending his hitting streak to 17 games. Next batter for Anaheim, Garrett Anderson facing Ricardo Rodriguez. Anderson, for the love of elevation, Angels go on to the 10 to 1 victory. Good sign, perhaps, for the Angels and their fans hosting the Devil Rays. Oh, local stars coming out on Minnesota's big sports night. Bob Dylan, Prince was there, Craig T. Nelson. You're not God, you're a typing teacher. And of course, Mary Tyler Moore. Good to see MTM was in the house, as the kids say. Bottom three, Jorge Sosa facing Corey Koski. And that's gone. Koski's third, it's 3-1 Minnesota. The Twins would lead 5-3 in the ninth. Two outs, every day Eddie trying to close the door here. Terry Shumpert's the tying run, he's at the plate. Drama. It is one more time. Shumpert strikes out swinging, Guardado gets the job done, and the Twins win 5-3. They needed a two, Minnesota had lost eight of its previous nine games. They become the sports meccas of the world. Baltimore, Detroit, 5 nothing straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Got lost in a mecca. Oh, Carlos Pena just didn't get there. They were bumping oh. into each other. The pitcher's got to get out of the way, grab one of the other guys and say, you got the ball. Instead, he bumped into the guy who was trying to catch it. Eight nothing, sir off. <laughs> Give him three on the RBI double. O's up 11 nothing. Oh. Tigers did get three. Tigers did get three in the game. Roar back, all right. That was a roar. How about some Johnson? You know, ever since he broke his finger practicing his delivery in front of the mirror, he's had better sink and a much better curveball. Five innings, no earned runs. Reds in the rocks. <clears throat> Preston Wilson covers the ball. In the left. That's going to bring in Jay Payton. One nothing rocks. They'd score three in the first. Reds down 4 2 in the fourth. Bases loaded. Sean Casey, Jason Jennings. Set pitches up in the zone and. Oh, Raph, Ronnie Belliard with a backhanded wow. stop. Probably a time for a straight leg pop-up slide there. Chris Reitzma, welcome back. Reality strikes in the form of a Preston Wilson 3-1 shot. That's with some big two-out hits, man. Having some fun. Two for four, four RBIs. Larry Walker next. Fourth of the year, it's 8-2. Where's Felipe Lopez? Fourth of the year. Giving high fives. Dan Maselli. I think the Rockies cover some ground out in the outfield. They do it all. This guy is a tremendous pickup. This is a great place for Preston to play. He can roam, he can hit with the power, and he's going to bring that enthusiasm and that flair. He's fun to be around, a great character. I, tremendous pickup. I love the Rockies. You're big on the Rockies. Casey has three hits. Jennings gets the win. Pirates, Pods. Warming Adam Eaton. He hit Jason Ken. He had thrown two wild pitches all year. In the first, first and second. Now there's a wild one. Aramis Ramirez. Eaton's an odd guy. He has a lot of trouble. He picks up velocity as the game goes along. There's a lot of trouble in the first two innings. Ramirez gets the third. Uh-oh. He, he can. His first career home run. That made it 4-1. It didn't matter. Eaton threw his fourth wild pitch. Probably 101 pitches in three and a third. And at some point, you just say, let's just go out and get him, and we'll start over the next next time he goes out. Well, I think 100 pitches in three innings is just as damaging to a young arm as 140 pitches in nine. Going to watch him next time out. What a start to a Right off the elbow of Vladimir Guerrero. He take his base, stay in the game, probably the funny bone, and that just kills. Nothing funny about that. That kills. But Javier Vasquez dominates. He attempts to strike out every brewer. It wouldn't be the most difficult chore he's ever attempted, but look at him go here. Sanchez, Ginter, Richie Section, swing and a miss. Jenkins, they, Scott Kocednik adventure. They can swing and miss, but they, when they make contact, though. Helms Perez, let's go to the ninth. Matt Kinney, he's got 12 Ks. No, but you're not going to get Royce. 
Royce Clayton Smith ties this game up, but you're the only hitter he hadn't paid. Ryan Schneider's a man now to Ginter. No play. Wilkerson scores 3 2 Expos. Bottom nine, tying runs on second, one out. Jeff Jenkins hit on the ground and hard to first. Nice play by Brad Wilkerson. Yeah, that's a nice, good win for the Expos. Brad Wilkerson anywhere on the diamond. And it was a tremendous pitcher in college at that. Do a lot of things. Javier Vasquez, seven innings, three hits, two earned runs, and a dozen Ks against a team that's likely to happen. Not seen the West Helms home run. It was a smash.